Hi Bumblebee families, today we're going to be learning how to make a frog craft together and we're also going to be learning how to make paint at home. So the first thing we need to do to start is we need to cut out our frog. So this is a template that we have attached as a PDF so you could print this or if you don't have a printer at home you could draw this yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut. But before you cut you might notice that this shape is a little bit tricky to cut. So a way to help you is to draw a circle around it and you could cut out that circle. So you could take a pen or a pencil, draw a circle around it, and then cut around the circle line. So when we pick up our scissors, we're gonna sing our song, Thumb Goes in the Small Hole. So thumb goes in the small hole. And we always cut away from our bodies. Cut around that circle. And while you're cutting, you could think about how you want to decorate your frog. So we know frogs are green, so it's going to be, have to be something green. So I have lots of different materials and different options that we might have around our house to use. So we could use markers, we could use colored pencils, we could use crayons, any one of these work. If you have green chalk, you could use green chalk. And if you wanted, you could make paint at home because I know lots of us don't have paint at home. For example, I don't have green paint at my own home. So we're going to make a recipe to make paint. So we need three items. We need school glue, water, and food coloring. So I have my glue. This is school glue. And if you have clear glue too, you could use that too. So you could fill up some in any bowl you have and use one that's okay to get a little messy because we're gonna be using the food coloring. Take some green food coloring and if you want to make a funny looking frog you could do any color you want if you don't have green you could add about three drops and then we just need a little bit of water so i'm just going to put a little splash okay and then we're going to take a spoon and we're going to stir it up and as you stir it you're going to see it's going to get like a paint consistency so we'll use our muscles to stir 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 and there we have it, we have paint that we made at home. Now, we need a paintbrush, and some of us might not have a paintbrush at home. So, I have plenty of different options of household items that you could paint with. So, if we don't have a paintbrush, we could use a sponge. You might have this underneath your sink. A pom-pom, we've used this in school before. So if you're gonna use a pom-pom, we don't have closed pins at home, we could use our pincher fingers, our baby shark fingers go like this and we can dip it into the paint in pom-pom just like that if you don't have a pom-pom you could use a cotton ball you might have this in one of your closets we could use a q-tip and q-tip paint and if you don't want to use a q-tip we could use our fingers and we can finger paint if you have a paintbrush like this you might want to use this and then lastly if we don't have the materials we need to make paint we can use paper to create our frog. So we could get green paper and we could practice our cutting skills and cut out the paper or we could tear it like we've done in class before. Tear it just like this. And put it into little pieces just like this. So now we have all these little scraps and we could take a glue stick and we could put glue all over our frog and we could glue on all the green pieces of paper to create our green frog. How cute is that? So today I want to use the paint that I made. So I'm going to use a pom-pom and I'm going to dip it in our paint just like this. I'm going to dab it onto the frog. So you can see just like that. now we have a beautiful green frog with paint that we made at home. So bumblebees, I hope that you were able to try this out with your family and you found this video very useful because we have so many items around our own house that we could utilize to make arts and crafts. So if you do make your paint today or you make your frog craft, I would love to see a video or a picture. And I cannot wait to see how they come out. When you're done, maybe you could hang this up on your window and display it for everyone to see. Okay, bumblebees, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I cannot wait to see if you create your own. Bye.